Hello everyone, I'm Raghi and in this video I'm going to explain you question number 22 marks on page number 153 of chapter number 5 states of matter class 11 in the ERG. So what is the question? Question is critical temperature for carbon dioxide and methane are 31.1 degree Celsius and minus 81.9 degree Celsius respectively. Which of these has stronger intermolecular forces and why? See, I just want to tell you one thing. Ki higher is the critical temperature. Jitna zyada critical temperature hoga, easier will be the liquefaction of the gas. So higher is the critical temperature, easier will be the liquefaction of the gas. Take care. This means that intermolecular force of attraction between the molecule of a gas is directly proportional to critical temperature. Again, I'm repeating myself. Higher is the critical temperature, easier will be the liquefaction of the gas. Take care. This means that intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules of a gas is directly proportional to critical temperature of a gas. So, if I am saying that more is the critical temperature, jitna zyada critical temperature hoga, utna hi stronger intramolecular force of attraction hoga. Question yehi poochha hai, which of these has stronger intramolecular forces and why? Why ka answer mein abhi aapko bata deti hu, why hai, more is the critical temperature, hence more will be the intramolecular force of attraction, that means stronger will be the intramolecular force of attraction between the molecules of a gas. Okay. And since the critical temperature of carbon dioxide is greater than methane because critical temperature of carbon dioxide is 31.1 degrees Celsius and that of methane is minus 81.9 degrees Celsius. So critical temperature carbon dioxide ka zada hua. Agar critical temperature carbon dioxide ka zada hai, iska matlab intramolecular force of attraction between the molecules of a gas are stronger in carbon dioxide. Hence the answer is carbon dioxide. Now please have a look on the board. Higher is the critical temperature of a gas, easier is its liquefaction. This means that the intramolecular force of attraction between the molecules of a gas are directly proportional to its critical temperature. Hence, intramolecular force of attraction are stronger in case of carbon dioxide. I hope this explanation is almost clear to you and must have satisfied your eagerness for the query of this question. And I don't feel that there would be any doubt regarding this question. But still, if anybody is having any doubt regarding the solution of this question, then please do mention your doubts in the space given below. Well, this brings me to the closing of the session. And it's Meera. He's saying you all. Goodbye.